Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my Scribbles That Matter notebook. I used it last year in 2019 and I had just enough room to squeeze 2020 in here. So let's take a look. Here's my cover page for 2020. I chose to do the Art Deco 20s theme, just like pretty much everyone else out there. My word of the year was embrace. And so the quote that I used was trust the weight, embrace the uncertainty, enjoy the beauty of becoming. Here are my yearly goals. This was my memories page. Obviously, coronavirus kind of messed with several things that I had planned to happen in 2020. This is my sleep tracker, reading tracker. I decided to only track how many books and how many pages I'm reading. I do have a separate spreadsheet that tracks the books that I'm reading, all the different genres, authors, all that kind of stuff. So if you'd like a separate video on that, just leave me a note down in the comments. My period tracker, weight tracker, my reading goals, and then this quotation, a lot can happen in a year. Little did we all know 2020 was gonna be such a year. January 2020, my quote for January was get into the habit of asking yourself, does this support the life I'm trying to create? Here's my tracker. I tracked my sleep along with reading, working out, and any social medias I was consuming that month. This is my book monthly wrap up. I think I read 11 books that month. Really good month for me. I do want to start monthly reviews on Instagram, book reviews. Another quotation, it's all connected. Your circumstances, your imperfections, your purpose, your journey, your destiny. God's molding you. Embrace it. And it has my word of the year. This is my critical role page tracking all the different episodes that I've listened to. So I'm about halfway through campaign two right now. I love how this page turned out. It turned out so cool. I used their logo and I got a couple of quotes. Is it Thursday yet? And how do you want to do this? Those are probably the most popular quotes from critical role. I do have it marked that way I can find it very easily. You can add tabs and customize those, but I just use a sticky note. All right, February. I did a little elephant theme because I thought that was super cute for February and also I got to use my little stamp set that I got for Christmas last year and the quote that I used you are the finest loveliest tenderest and most beautiful person I have ever known and even that is an understatement F Scott Fitzgerald the great Gatsby here's my habit tracker again tracking sleep social media working out reading all that kind of stuff this is my monthly wrap up. I didn't read as much as January, but I still did a pretty good job and I had several good reads in that month. And then I have two quotations with my little elephant family here. This first one says, how beautiful it is to wake up and love you all over again by J.H. Hard. And then this quote by A.R. Asher, you walked into my life like you had always lived there, like my heart was a home built just for you. And I like how this turned out. I was able to use pink ink with my stamps, although I did not clean them up after using the gray. I probably should have done that and would have looked a little little bit cleaner. Overall, I still like how it looks. Here's March. I did a donut theme. Surprisingly, donuts are actually pretty easy to draw. You just draw the outside circle and then a little smiley face and then a little hole. Super easy. I was trying to do sprinkles and frosting and all that kind of stuff. You'll see that on all of my donuts have some form of frosting or sprinkles. So this or... is my habit tracker and my sleep tracker where I filled in the different sprinkles with the colors of the hours that I slept that month. And so. then here's my quote page. I think this is the first time I've done a two-page quote spread that had a little design in the middle. I thought about maybe doing a Dutch door, but in the end, I just kind of freehanded the same shape on both sides and then mirrored everything from one page to the other. My quotes are all donut puns, so enjoy those. You can thank Pinterest and the internet for all of these quotations. These are the books that I read. I didn't read too much. In April, I did a Tetris theme. It's been a while since I've done a full color cover page, but I like how this turned out all the bright colors. It's super cool. My sleep tracker. And then I got to use this really cool computer looking font. It looks really cool. And I like how the black and white contrasts with all the color. It just looks really good. So here's my sleep tracker. We're into the full swing of quarantine. I got a lot of sleep. You'll see there's hardly any reds and yellow orange in there. So that was really good. I slept so well because I wasn't having to go into work. And then here's my quotation. It's hard to find Tetris quotes, but the quote I was able to find is organizing is just one big game of Tetris. And it reminds me of my dad every time we would go on trips, he would pack the car and he would play like it was a game of Tetris trying to get all those suitcases and bags and other things inside the car. It's my habit tracker. This is probably my favorite spread for this month. I just love all the colors, how the trackers are each the same size. They look really great. And then here's my monthly wrap up again. It's April, we're in quarantine. I was able to read a whole bunch. I checked out some books from the library before um, being quarantined. So that was really nice. For May, I wanted to do something really simple. I have a 
gold gel pen here that I used to do the lines and then write May in a bold font. I printed these pictures off of Pinterest, cut them out, and then I colored them in with my zebra mild liners. And I love how this looks because it was kind of going for a wildflowers theme. These are the same picture. I just colored them in differently. And then these are my habits. Reading wrap up. Didn't read as much as some other months. My two quotes here are, like a wildflower, she spent her days allowing herself to grow. Not many people knew of her struggle, but eventually all knew of her light by Nikki Rowe. And then here's a quote by Julie Andrews that I love. Wildflowers, I envy them. They're brave, seeds cast by the wind to land wherever they may. They stay and hold against most hot, most cold. They persevere, roots shallow, yet fierce and free. They epitomize to me all that I sometimes yearn to be. Here is June. June is our anniversary month, so I wanted to do a Scrabble theme because he is very good at words and stuff like that. Very simple. I just did the Scrabble squares. You can find that on the internet for each one. So this is my sleep tracker. I did have to start going back into the office in June. I had a really good sleep and then not as much sleep because back in the office. My habit tracker, I minimized all my social medias into just one category. Here's the books. I did read a bunch of books that month, so good for me. And then my other quotation here says, every love story is beautiful, but ours is my favorite. This is my first doodle challenge from Art and Foxes. My volleyball looks pretty good. My popsicle, actually this inspired another theme later on. Check out her page, Art and Foxes. I'll leave the link down below. I decided to do a popsicle theme for July. This is probably one of my favorite cover pages for the whole year. I think it looks so sharp, very minimal, very easy, and I love the bright colors. My sleep tracker. For my inspiration, I used one of those really long twisty pops. I don't know if any of you guys remember that from like the 90s or the early 2000s. Very popular when the ice cream truck came around. They were huge. And I thought that would be perfect for tracking a whole month's worth of sleep. And then I used my popsicle idea here for my book trackers and my habit tracker. I just used popsicle sticks as my inspiration. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Love that quote. My theme for August was old letters, kind of vintage mail. And then I wanted to include paper airplanes too, because kind of a travel theme. So my quotation here is difficult roads often lead to beautiful destinations. That was something I tried to remember as we were going through the pandemic. We might be in a difficult time right now, but eventually we will get to better days and it will be much better for everyone involved. My sleep tracker, I just tracked around the outside of the envelope. If you want to copy this theme, you can do the paper airplanes and then each line or dot or something like that can be your different color. Um, because I only picked two colors, it was very difficult to track all the different things, but I think I was able to show each one here. And then this is my book tracker. I don't think I was able to finish all of these. So here I combined another doodle challenge. This one is by Bujo and Cookies. Again, I'll leave her information down below. And then this is also my habit tracker. I decided to do a little pattern where you just do this pattern and then you alternate for even and odd days. And I think it looks really cool when you're able to fill it out, like my social media. I mean, I check Instagram pretty much every day. I watch YouTube videos almost every day. It looks cool when it's all filled in like that. So that's the goal. <laughs> September, for my birthday last year, I was gifted this set of sushi stickers. September is my husband's birth month. He and I both love sushi. I have these stickers. Let's throw those in because, you know, you don't have to think of a theme every year. You can buy stickers to make it really easy. And I just kind of threw those in. I'm not sure what the name of the font is, but it kind of reminds me of chopsticks a little bit. Here's my sleep tracker. I did one big sushi and then all the little fish eggs on top. Those are colored in for my sleep pattern books that I read, my habits. I tried to make this look like a bento box, or at least this looks like a bento box, but I only washed my brushes one time. So that is definitely something that I need to get better about. I need to wash my makeup brushes way more than I do. Here's my quotation, and it's actually a dictionary term. You don't have to be original in your quotations. You can just look up a dictionary definition. So sushi is of course a noun. It is Japanese for yummy. It's a high five for my mouth. It's also way cheaper than therapy, unless you're eating a lot. And you can't buy happy but you can buy sushi. I chose to freehand these chopsticks in there. I think they look pretty Good. October is my birth month. I tried something I have never done before. I decided to paste in some black paper. I was inspired by Elizabeth from Plant Based Bride. Her July month, she did a constellation theme and did her zodiac sign and I thought that was super cool. The dark background and then all the pretty stars on top. It was so beautiful. You should check out her video. I'll leave her information down below. I tried to emulate what she did. Her design was more of a watercolor blue black but I just went with the black paper kept it nice and simple and then here we have my zodiac which is Scorpio and then I just put some attributes that go with Scorpio brave loyal intense 
focused, resourceful, ambitious. I included my sign down below, and I, of course, used my gold gel pens. I also used white. This is my sleep tracker. I tried to do like a galaxy constellation. It didn't really work so well. It's good to try things. I literally made up this font because I wanted something with serif font because I thought it would look really, you know, old captain's log. You're out on the ship looking at the stars. It would look really cool. Some of it turned out and some of it did not, but we'll just pretend like that didn't happen. In October, you read all the spooky books. That's just what you do. I'm also very big into mood reading. So October is a great month for me to pull out all my spooky books, my fall cozy books. And so I had picked all of these books out. I ended up only reading maybe four. My final quote for October is, Moonlight drowns out all but the brightest stars. I have a little shooting star right there. I think it looks super cool. November. This might be tied with July for one of my favorite cover pages. Look how great this looks. It turned out super well. My quotation for November, Autumn colors my soul in the loveliest colors by Angie Welland Crosby. I just made this little design on the bottom to fill in some extra space. I just love these colors together. They look so great. I know fall doesn't really have green, but I think it works really well in this color palette. My habits page, I just kind of did general shapes here. I took a small sticky note and then you can just color around it and then remove the sticky note and there's your white space. So it's perfect. I'm doing a tree theme. What if I made it look like tree rings? So that's kind of what I was trying to go for here. And then I just added this extra dark border around the outside to show the bark of the tree. My reading for the month of November, put these little trees down at the bottom as a kind of a border. Love this quote. Another fall, another turned page by Wallace Steckner. It works perfectly with my books page. Right. December, we made it to the last month of the year. Woohoo! Stay tuned for my 2021 setup. That video should be coming up soon. It was the last month in this journal. I only have a handful of pages left. I wanted to try watercolor for the first time. And I had seen this method on Pinterest where you can take a Ziploc bag, rub your marker all over it, spritz it a little bit with water, flip it over, boom, instant watercolor. That sounds really easy. I'll try that since I have zero painting abilities. Why not? So I picked a red and gold theme for December, paired it with just a simple black for my headers. I did get some bleed through on the back page. The more I look at it, it doesn't look that bad. I don't hate it. 2020 has been a great year in my bullet journal. I am growing more to like all of my spreads. I'm growing to appreciate I tried something and maybe it worked great. Maybe I can tweak it again for next time, or maybe I won't try that again. It's all about exploring your creativity and making sure that it's useful and purposeful for benefiting your lifestyle. So the quotation that I decided to go with for December, Christmas waves a magic wand over the world and behold, everything is softer and more beautiful by Norman Vincent Peale. So my sleep tracker, as you can see, yes, it did bleed through. I love these red and gold ornaments. They are so pretty. I think red is the color of Christmas. That holiday red of either the stockings or your ornaments. And it just looks so classy, especially paired with this gold. I decided to use little ornaments. So my habit tracker, obviously we're still not through with December yet, but I'm in between books right now. So if you have any uh, Christmas reads, feel free to post them down in the comments for me. I'm working on going through the Pole Dark series by Winston Graham. I'm on book eight of 12. So hopefully I will be able to finish that next year. Here's my other quotation for December. Maybe Christmas, he thought, doesn't come from a store. Maybe Christmas, perhaps, means a little bit more. From Doctor Who's The Grinch Who Stole Christmas from the animated classic, the original, the best, the one, the only. It's the one that I prefer to watch. It's so classic. And then here we say goodbye to 2020. Thank you so much for joining me today. See you guys later. Bye.